The DJI Mavic Air. This thing is a freaking dream. It's super fast, it's lightweight, it's so packable. It has an amazing image and it's overall just probably my favorite drone on the market. The only gripe I have about this thing is that it sounds like an angry flock of bees. Wait, flock, group. It sounds like an angry bunch of bees, okay? It's freaking loud, it's obnoxious as heck. It's just a really great way to piss off those neighbors. So if you wanna put an end to that, or at least to minimize the noise, there is one thing you can do. It's not going to completely silence the drone, but it will make it a little bit quieter. So these things just arrived in the mail a couple hours ago. They're the Master Airscrew Stealth, uh, low noise, quick release, blah, blah, blah. They're upgraded propellers for the Mavic Air. So they're basically going to make it a little bit quieter as well as extend the battery life of this drone. So the company Master Airscrew, they claim on the website that these equate to a 50% noise power reduction. I'm not sure what noise power is, but I'm guessing it just means noise, as well as up to about a 12% increase in battery life. So I mean, that sounds pretty good to me. You know, this thing is not quiet and any chance I can get to make it a little bit quieter or extend the battery life, I'll take it. What I'm hoping is that by the end of this review, you'll have a good idea of just how much these actually increase the battery life and decrease the noise of this drone. So without further ado, let's go take these things outside and see just how they stack up to the original propellers. Okay, bam, just like that, we're outside. Hope you're amazed. Now we're gonna be testing out the DJI with the stock standard propellers. Got my handy dandy decibel meter here. And uh, we're just gonna be flying this thing, hovering it about four feet, and then we'll also do some distance tests as well. So let's get right into that. So now about 10 feet away from the decibel meter, we're getting about 70 decibels of uh, consistent baseline noise. So we're gonna fly it out now and see how it changes. So now we're about 25 feet out and we're getting a pretty consistent 50 decibels. And again, this is with the standard propellers. So I'm gonna fly it back in, swap out the propellers and try it again with the, with the new ones. Okay, I got the new props on there for Master Air Screw. So right now we're about 10 feet away from the uh, drone. We're getting about 35 decibels of ambient noise here, so we'll see how that changes once it's in the air. So the drone is in the air at this point. We're about 10 feet away from the decibel meter, and we're getting about 65 decibels, so about five decibels less than just the standard normal propellers. I'm gonna fly it out now to 30 feet and see how it changes. So we are about 30 feet out at this point, and to my ears, I can definitely notice a very strong difference. It seems a lot quieter to me. Let's see how the decibel meter is. And we're getting about 46 decibels right now, so quite a bit less than the last one. I'm gonna fly it back in, and we're gonna go back inside for the battery test. Okay, welcome back to the crib. I've got two freshly charged batteries here, so we're gonna be testing out one of them with the standard propellers, one of them with the Master Air Screw propeller. I'm gonna let them both get down to 20%, and we're gonna see which one gets there sooner. And uh, while we're at it, I'm also just gonna measure the sound inside, just as kind of an indoor sound test, to, you know, be totally certain about which one is quieter. So this is gonna be battery number one with the standard propellers. Uh, right now we're getting about 30 decibels of room ambience, so we're gonna see how that changes once we get this bird in the air. Okay, so for that test, it made it to about 12 minutes and 51 seconds. We had a room ambience of about 66 decibels, and uh, again, that was with the standard propellers. So now we're gonna swap it out to the master air screw propellers and see if there's any difference. Alrighty, folks, we've got battery number two in here, and we've got the master air screw propellers on this thing now, so we're gonna get this thing in the air now and see if we notice a difference. Okay, and there you go. This time we got about 14 minutes and 15 seconds, so not bad. That's about an extra minute and a half there. So, I mean, you can actually do quite a bit with an extra minute and a half. That's like another two or three shots that you can get. So we were also averaging around 76 decibels for this one. So like slightly lower than the last one, but not by much. But still there is a little bit noticeable difference. Like personally, just based on my ears, and not the data, it did sound quite a bit quieter to me just because it seemed like there was a slightly lower pitch. So that kind of helps, seems to bring down the volume for me, but let's wrap up with some final thoughts. Okay, so after all that, we finally are done. And uh, I gotta say, in all honesty, I'm really impressed with these propellers. I absolutely love this drone, but it's noisy as a mother. Any chance I can get to, to quiet it down, I'll take it. And I think these propellers do a pretty dang good job at that. 
Based on the data alone, they only went from 78 to 76 decibels, which doesn't seem like much, but the big difference to the human ear is that they're actually a little bit lower pitch. I think it's because probably these propellers are a little bit heavier than your standard DJI propeller. So having that extra weight kind of lowers the pitch a little bit. And to the human ear, it just kind of helps it blend in with the background a little bit more. So it definitely doesn't make it silent, but it does quiet it down quite a bit. I would say it takes it from sounding like an angry bunch of bees to more of just a peaceful bunch of bees, if you will. So and in terms of battery life, we got about an extra minute and a half of battery life before it got down to 20%. Adding about a minute and a half to that is probably around 10%. So I mean, if you've ever flown one of these things, these batteries go really fast. So having that extra minute and a half on there is ooh, so wonderful. Like you can get like another two shots with that. No regrets at all. I'm very happy with this purchase. And uh, the only thing I would say that I don't really like about these propellers is probably the way they look. I'm personally a bigger fan of the way the normal ones look with the matte black. According to their website, having that gloss finish on there actually just helps to minimize air resistance and friction. So that's actually how they get a little bit more of that efficiency out of these propellers. But these propellers do cost about 20 bucks. So for one set of propellers, that does seem a little bit steep to me. But honestly, if you think about those results, this is totally worth it to me. 20 bucks and you get a longer lasting drone and it's quieter. So, and no, neither of these companies paid me to say any of this. I bought these with my own money, but I just love these propellers and uh, there's not really a whole lot of reviews on them out there yet. So figured I would put this together. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helped you to make a decision on whether or not you plan to pick these things up. And I hope you come back for the next video. I'm gonna be releasing lots of filmmaking content here soon. So I would consider subscribing below, but that's it for me today, everybody. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you soon. And in the meantime, go get yourself a set of these freaking awesome propellers. Peace.